And uh, thanks for letting me be me, because I know that it ain't for everybody. Occasionally, when I'm going across the world, especially now in the Trump-like America, because of my potty mouth and my anarchistic politics, there's some places I play, like Alabama immediately comes to mind. Where after the show, there's always a member of the audience who wants to have a little conversation with me about what they heard. Like a debate. They want to have a debate. A confrontation. I got in a fight with my television. Actually, it wasn't my television. It was on a tour bus found for I don't know where because there was no real reason to look out the window because that TV delivered that cool, solid, ocean sky blue that lets me know that I'm modern. With my finger firmly planted down the pulse of these times that I was one with digital anticipation. I was going to be massively entertained. That satellite was like a giant siphon sucking the greatest entertainment out of the cosmos and spewing it into my lap. I lay back and I caress the molded plastic remote in my hand. This is my lightning rod, my ATM card, my NASCAR stick shift, my Harriet Tubman underground railway to endless hours of eye-dazzling, ear-throbbing, goosebump-inducing TV programming. This remote was a lot bigger than mine at home. This was 80 buttons at least. This was like going from a moped to a Harley. I had the ability to fast-forward, record, view things in little boxes that were playing elsewhere, play those back with things I had recorded earlier. If I had a favorite celebrity, that TV would say, you better change the channel right now. If you want to catch your David Hasselhoff shooting the breeze with RJ Leno in five different languages, sounds around in enough pixels to shake a stick at, but you won't be shaking any sticks at any pixels, mister. You lay back and love your TV, but I couldn't get the fucking remote to turn the fucking TV on. <laughs> new batteries and it still didn't work. I pounded that power button like I was a Republican drilling for oil. I tried different combinations of settings. Bypass and exit and select and guide and favorite and search and zoom and p-scan and 3D parental control v-shift, tracking and angle and then a giant wave of insecurity overtook me. Maybe I wasn't good enough for this TV. After all, this wasn't my tour bus. I was just the opening act. This TV was smart. It was going to wait for the headliner to get there. And that that's where I made my biggest mistake. I ventured over looking for the manual on and off button on the TV itself, and that TV burst on and said, what the fuck do you think you're doing? I said, I'm looking for the on and off button. He said, what do you think? I am an abacus. You're going to wind me up with a crank or rub two sticks together for big em hot smoke to light em fire? Are you not aware of my colossal domain? I can empower. I can destroy. I can re-educate. I can eliminate history. I can distort facts. I can boldface lie at will. I do it all day long. No one questions me. I can tempt you with products you can't possibly afford. Bury you in debt. You'll come running back to gaze at celebrities to soothe you, medicate you. I will babysit your child. I am better than drugs. I fucking own you. My Fox News both fair and balanced reporting. It's not a news show at all. It's an entertainment show for far-right neocon political agenda. It deals in fear and hatred, doled out by egocentric spin doctors who care about nothing but their own greedy power and you fuckers take it seriously. It's mind-boggling how stupid you are. I lay before that 65-inch liquid crystal wafer thin television with the integrated tuner and I beg for mercy. Please don't take my Girls Gone Wild videos away from me. I live for E2 Hollywood story into divorce court and I find hope in the Lee Boswell hair replacement hour. I know I've offended you. Give me another chance, Geraldo. At large first on, I lay back with my Red Bull and Cheetos. Thank God for redemption. Larry the Cable Guy's up next, and then I'm gonna pimp my fucking ride. <laughs> Nails, but I don't need machinery. A little bit of wood, 
a little bit of wire. Call on Smokey the Bear, cause there's gonna be a fire. If I ain't sweating, then it ain't no fun. I'm like the Beastie Boys, except I'm only one. I'm a bad motherfucker, you can't deny it. But I ain't got the balls of Pussy Riot. <laughs> I started hearing voices, not like Judas Priest, mostly from the old guys like a whisper in the back, like muddy water saying, hey, it's on the attack. Right way, and I will keep on rocking that till my 